kamati inayosimamia masuala ya bajeti katika bunge la kaunti ya Kamega imetetea hatua ya kutenga mgao mkubwa katika wizara ya afya kwenye makadri ya bajeti ya mwaka 2022-2023 ikivijua kuwa wizara hiyo imekuwa na changamoto ya kukabili uhaba wa dawa na vifaa maalum kutoka katika deni la shirika la kusambaza dawa injini Kemsa hii bajeti ya 2022-2023 implementers ni serikali mpya sisi yetu ilikuwa ni kutimiza sheria. Sheria inasema by 30th of April mwaka huu 2022 budget zote Kenya ziwe zimesomwa. Na sisi kama county assembly tulipokea hizi budget estimates kutoka kwa executive two weeks ago na tukapanga mikakati ya kwanza kuifanyia kazi na mikakati ya kwanza ilikuwa induction by executive walitupitisha through tukaangalia tukaona bas leo tulikuwa na wananchi wa Kakamega wamekuja tukapitisha through alafu wakatupatia mapendekezo zao health imechukua 30% na hiyo ndio pesa ambayo anga tunapitisha uh, kila mwaka kwa health Uh, juu mnajua umuhimu wa maisha ya wananchi. Uh, pili ni ukulima agriculture. Agriculture imechukua kama 10%. Tatu ni mishahara za wafanyikazi wa county. Hizi mapendekezo zao tutakaa tena na executive. Tuwaoje? Tuangalie jinsi hizi mapendekezo za wananchi zitaizaingizwa katika budget. Kwenye kitu kama hiyo katika bunge la kaunti ya Kamega ambaye pia ni mwakilishi wa wadi ya Marama Kusini Willis Opuka na wenzake walipata wakati mgumu wa kujibu maswali ya kwa nini wizara ya afya kwenye kaunti hiyo hupewa mgao mkubwa kila mwaka na ile hali wakazi wanapitia hali ngumu ya maisha kukosa dawa katika vituo vya afya swali walisema linatokana na kubwa ambalo wamekuwa wakidaiwa na shirika la kusambaza dawa injini Kemsa Kwanza tulikuwa na deni kubwa na kemsa pesa haikuwa inatirika haikuwa inakuja kwa assembly kwa kwa counties vile inatakana so ile deni likakaa muda mrefu kidogo na likaleta uh, kemsa haikuwa uh, itaweza kusupply na madawa na hiyo ndio ukosefu ambao ilifanya wananchi wakaumia kidogo but sasa hizi katika katika supplementary tushamaliza madeni zote za kemsa ilo deni la kemsa lilifanya kemsa haikuwa inatusupply madawa na hii ni the whole country sio kakamega peke yake utata wa department za health the whole country has had a challenge so ninakuambia nina tu the way money has been trickling from uh, 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 the exchequer in nairobi hiyo ndio shida ambayo ishaleta hiyo kisungumkuti yote Uh, yeah, it used to but vile tulijiingiza kwa madeni mingi ikasimama sasa hizi ndio tunajaribu kumaliza hizo madeni alafu they'll regularize their supplies no you're asking how much the national government owes kakamega county it has been 100 100 million but we are almost uh, uh, our supplementary cleared with the with the date wakiongea baada ya kikao cha kukusanya maoni kutoka kwa wakazi wa kaunti hiyo kuhusu makadri ya bajeti hiyo upuka mewakisha wakazi wa kaunti ya Kamega sekta ya afya itaimarishwa baada ya serikali hiyo kumaliza deni hilo uh, in fact as i said uh, you know we don't have the capacity to do big projects this time and as you have seen even our our revenue has come down by about 2 billion so what we are actually doing what the budget is doing most is to complete the projects which had not been completed due to factors that were beyond our our control and were actually on health and uh, roads and uh, education education has actually they wanted more uh, more bursary to be factored into the budget uh, otherwise apart from the roads which under bridges uh, there's there's no much uh, difference it's it's only that they wanted us to add more money onto some of the 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 the, the, the projects that are being done
Kwenye makadrio ya bajeti hiyo, Wizara ya Kilimo imetengewa shilingi bilioni 1.5 ambayo ni asilimia kumi. Wizara ya Afya kitengewa shilingi bilioni 4.5 ambayo ni asilimia 30. Huku ofisi ya gavana ikipewa shilingi bilioni 282.5 jumla ya makadrio ya bajeti hiyo yakiwa shilingi bilioni 14.9 kilinganisha na mwaka 2021-2022 iliyogarimu serikali ya kaunti hiyo shilingi bilioni kumna sita we are we 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 have appropriated a budget of 14 billion but we've been actually doing 16 and uh, the reason why zile misahada za development partners as ya kwa factored factored kwa budget ju atujui zitakuwa ngapi so the new, when the new government inakuja ndio development partners will commit themselves and then we'll actually have another supplementary budget to input the new figures into the main budget local revenue stands at 550 million as at january 31st na hii ndio muda ambao wanga tuna collect pesa mingi this is the time uh, businesses normally pay for their permits so we are expecting kwa hizi miezi tatu february march na april it will have actually pushed the own revenue to maybe a billion may to na implement paperless uh, 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 charging ila ambao uh, ulipi na pesa taslimu juu hiyo pia ina encourage uh, uh, corruption